Captain's log The Yorktown has entered standard orbit around Tau CDE, a hot planet with Federation colonies founded two years ago. We are here for a standard checkup. For reasons that I don't yet know, the Governor Vivian Oster is transporting aboard for a conference. Tell the transporter room to bring aboard the Governor and her aide. Captain, the ground control says that they are unable to transport and are requesting a shuttle craft instead. Have them give the coordinates to our transporter room. The transporter room is saying that we cannot beam anyone aboard at this time. I want an explanation for that. Have them send landing coordinates to us. Order a shuttle to be dispatched to the surface. We are getting unusual amounts of interference. I can compensate. Reading heavy magnetic fields, many times stronger than Earth. I read some information on this place. They had the same problems when the colonies were formed. Approaching the spaceport. Shuttle craft approaching with the governor and her aide aboard. Very well bring the shuttle aboard. Have the governor escorted to the briefing room. Captain. She is requesting a less formal area such as your quarters, with no other crew members present. That's odd. See to it. Have security escort her to my cabin. Governor Oster, welcome aboard the Yorktown. How may I help you? Thank you Captain. Our people are scared down below. Things have been happening. My assistant will fill you in. Amateur astronomers on the ground have been seeing strange lights coming from the surface of the moon. I have heard the reports. Well we can investigate those. Anything else? About six months ago, people started getting electrical shocks when touching metal objects. They started out small but they have gotten bigger. Are they caused by equipment? What is causing them? We don't know. There has been a concerted effort to hide it from the public at large. We want as few people to know about it as possible. That is why we are keeping it from your crew. I also did not want to panic your crew. Can we just keep this quiet? No. My crew is battle tested, and if we need to investigate something like this we will have to operate openly. We will send down teams, and if you wish you can return with one of those. I want an explanation as to why the transporters are not working. It is the magnetic fields from this planet. They are interfering with the transporter. We are working on a solution. We should be able to use them soon. I have a team ready for the surface. Computer, report on Tau CDE. Planet Tau CDE is a Class M planet located 12 light years from Earth. The average temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It is considered hot but livable by the four colonies added two years ago. It has one natural satellite similar to the Earth's moon. Electrocution Captain, at least 50,000 volts DC. He never stood a chance. That just does not make sense. Fences like that are not designed for that. There is one more thing Captain. It looks like static electricity. It did not come from any power grid. Okay thanks Doctor. Our crew on the ground is investigating. There is nothing. This fence is not even set up yet. It is still on wooden blocks. There is no electricity and nothing harmful. I checked the house. It's locked. He was setting up the fence, a worker apparently. Continue readings. There has to be an answer here. The electricity flowed through him into the ground, like a lightning strike. I think this has something to do with the planet. I suggest an aerial survey.
Just what are we looking for? Anything that is non-Federation technology, and any anomalous readings. I have something. It looks like a probe of some kind under about 200 feet of water. I will take us down to take a look. What has happened here? Something is inducing static electricity in metallic objects. I still don't know what. We found burn marks on the ground. The charge went from the fence, through the worker and into the ground. Or maybe it is the other way. The probe we found is owned by a private geologist named Fred Granger. Computer basic information on geologist Fred Granger. Fred Granger performs geological surveys for mining companies. Although flamboyant and hedonistic, he is considered an expert in his field. Granger currently holds a license to perform a survey on planet Tau Ceti e and its moon. That is one thing we have not looked at, the moon I mean. Science Officer Jones, dispatch a team to the planet's moon. Can we find Granger? We can trace communications to their ship. Go ahead. I want teams on the moon and the planet, and then we will go find Mr. Granger. CC's cardiac stimulant. Shock, electrical burns. She is in a bad way, Captain, but the cause is not the same. You mean that she did not get hit by static electricity? Then what? It is similar to alternating current, the kind that we use to generate for transmission over long distances. How can that be? She was outside on a patio. Where am I? Who are you people? You are in sick bay on the USS Yorktown. I am Captain Roger Murray. Can you tell us what happened? 
I was attacked by a horrible black thing with lightning bolts coming from it. It touched me and then I woke up here. Did it try to communicate with you? She fell asleep again. I know, I'll do everything I can to save her. Atmosphere is stable, secured by force field. We will go out and take readings. The ship has left orbit. We are on our own for a time. Of course we can always fly to the planet. This is not good. I am reading a massive buildup of electrical charge. The question is why? I am reading rivers, metallic rivers subsurface. Analysis indicates mercury. This is incredible. Subsurface temperature is at least 200 degrees more than warm enough. The mercury seems to be flowing almost like water. This moon has a metallic crust as well. The magnetic field. I am plotting it. The field is moving in such a way that it will soon fully cover the moon. I think it is clear what is happening. The planet's field, combined with the moving conductor, the mercury, is causing subsurface electricity to flow, and charge the metallic crust like a capacitor. The planet is the other metal plate, if you will. We will share the data with the ship and the other team. Federation Starship is approaching. The say that they want to speak with Professor Granger. Go back and tell him. He is not going to be happy that Starfleet is closing in on him. What is it my lovely? A comet, asteroid? It is a starship. The USS Yorktown. They want to speak with you. Okay my lovelies. I will be back. Don't go away. Oh and if they take me with them, bring the ship my lovely. So great captain, what do you want from me? I was hoping to get your records from your probe on the planet. We have been unable to decrypt them. We need the information from them. You are hassling me over a bunch of data. You have taken me away from my lovelies. I am sorry if we interrupted your fun. There are tens of thousands of lives at stake. 